Okay, so I have told you several different times and for several different months that I like to mentor new real estate investors. And I have recently made a mental shift to go from just mentoring women to mentoring men and women. Because I've realized that men want financial freedom too. And a lot of men look up to me as a leader because I've been able to accomplish a lot of different things that's really cool. But I'm having a hard time because somebody is spreading a really nasty rumor that mentoring is equal to free advice. And I don't know who started this rumor. I don't know if it's personally about me or if it's just about real estate or if it goes through every different kind of job you can have. Like, I don't really know. But the thing is, I mentor people because I like it. I mentor people because I like being involved in lots of deals. And I can't buy every house out there. So I mentor people so that I know they're using the right formulas. I know they're using the right strategies. I know that their script is right. I know that they are achieving their goals. And I can't, I physically do not have enough time to go buy all the empty houses in the world. So I teach other people how they can go out and buy houses. And I love it. But I don't do it for free. And I'm really good at what I do. I'm the best real estate investor I know. And I would say that I'm the best real estate investor I know because I'm going to be 32 in a couple days and I've got like 50 properties. I've got houses, I've got apartments, I've got land, I've got auction experience, I've got owner financing, lease options, I've paid cash, like I've run the whole gamut of real estate. And I don't know anybody my age that's done that. Okay, Pam's on here, Pam is a great teacher, she's a great mentor, but she teaches wholesaling. I don't teach wholesaling, I don't like wholesaling, I don't think you make enough money wholesaling. She's great at it. And that's what she it. I teach owner finance and lease options because I'm great at it. And that's what I teach. But it costs money to work with me. I had a guy earlier today, Tamika's on here. She's a great mentor also. She'll teach you how to get a niche in real estate and how to make some serious money at it. Okay? But it's not free. Dan's on here. Dan sells a program. It's not free. If I want to work with Dan, I have to pay for his time. If I want to work with Jared, I have to pay for his time. I had a guy send me a message earlier and he was like, hey, I'm starting to get into real estate and I've got this page and nobody's commenting on it. Nobody likes it. How do you get people to interact on your page? I was like, oh, well, yeah, I'll take a look at it. Do you want me to send you a PayPal invoice for my hour or do you want to get a Stripe invoice or, you know, how do you want me to get paid for this? And he was like, oh, I don't want to pay you. What am I supposed to do with that? If you don't want to pay me, I don't want to play with you. If I'm not buying your house so that I can go make money, I don't want to hang out with you. Like I have friends. I've got great friends. I've lost some friends because I was a real estate investor and I didn't have time to play these games and chase them around and do weird stuff. I got a business to run. I'm really good at it. And... If you want to schedule a call with me and you want to pick my brain, that's fine, but it's going to cost more than a cup of coffee. And I don't want to go to lunch with you. If I want to go to lunch, do you have any free content? Do I, Dan says yes. Do I have free content? Yes, I do. It's on YouTube. YouTube.com slash Whitney Nicely. And I paid for my knowledge. Exactly, Tamika. Like, I didn't read a bunch of free ebooks. I didn't watch a bunch of free YouTube videos and then start making thousands of dollars. And I didn't do it overnight. It took me time. It took me money. It took me 
pain, <laughs> okay, to get there. I've paid for mentors all along that said, hey, do this, don't do that. Make more money here. You're not going to make any money there, so quit that. All right? I'm also not splitting deals with anybody. If you work with me, you're going to pay me up front, and then I'm going to push you. I'm going to hold your hand. I'm going to drag you through every real estate deal that I can get you to do. But I'm not going to do it for you. And then when you get paid, that's your money. Keep your money. These people out here that are like, yeah, I'll teach you. It's free. It's $500. It's little and nothing. And whenever you get that first $30,000, I'll take 15000 of it. They ought to have, like, I don't know how anybody could work like that. If you want me to work with you, I will. But there's a price to be paid up front. If I wanted to go to real estate school, and I did, they said, fine, it's going to be this much money. Put it on a credit card and come learn. Whatever you do with it when you get done is fine. Because that's how it works. The people that are going to split commissions with you have no business being in your pocketbook. My mentor didn't do that for me because I put in my own blood, sweat, and tears on this deal and I made $15,000 after eight weeks. I probably would have made more sooner if I had listened to my mentor sooner, if I'd hired a mentor sooner, okay? But mentoring is not free, okay? There's tons of free information. Every real estate investor I know has a free ebook and a free video on YouTube. I do videos like this all the time and it's just free content. But guess what? You're not going to get any deals from listening to this. Because I'm not analyzing your deals unless you're paying my hourly price. Or unless you get in my program. I'll be glad to teach you. I will teach anybody and everybody everything that I know. But I'm not going to do it for free. And I don't want to go to lunch with you. I don't want you to buy my coffee. I've got a Keurig. That's all I need. Okay? So stop with the coffee offers. And stop sending me messages wanting me to analyze your deals if you're not in my program. I analyze the fire out of all the deals that my students send me. But if you're not my student, I don't know what training you have. I don't know if you even know where to start on this, and I'm not going to train you for free. If you're one of my students and you have a problem, like a lady sent me an email um, Monday night. She was like, she got into my quick start program, and she was like, hey, I have my personal house, and I've got a problem with it. I need some help. I need some advice. Fine. Here's my appointment schedule. Call me tomorrow. Let's get this hammered. But if you're booking an appointment with me and you think that I'm going to analyze your deals and tell you how to make money, that's not what's going to happen. When you book an appointment with me, I am interviewing you to see if you have the balls to get successful in real estate. Because you can pay me, but if you're not going to do the job, maybe I don't even want to work with you. Dan gets so mad at the people in his program because he gives you step-by-step step what to do. I give you step-by-step step what to do. And then you come back, you screwed it all up, you didn't listen to anything I said. Go back and do it the way I told you to do it in the first place. Okay? One of the first questions, if you book a call with me, one of the first questions I'm going to ask you is, are you an action taker? Because y'all, I get shit done that nobody else can do because I am an action taker. If you tell me what to do, I'm going to do it and I'm gone. I'm probably going to get started doing it while you're telling me what to do, which means I'm going to have to go back and listen to it again because I missed the end of it because I was getting started at the beginning. But I am an action taker and I work with action takers. And when people tell me they're an action taker, this isn't like, hey, I'm hungry. I should take some action and go get lunch. That's not how real estate works. Okay? Action takers in real estate, when I say 
Go put some bandit signs out. Go put this post on Facebook. Go make these calls. I really mean take some action and go do what I told you to do. Otherwise, you're not going to get any deals. You're not going to make any money. You're going to be a crying baby like these protesters out of this school. That's not how it works. If you want to buy a house, you have to take the steps. They're easy steps. They're kind of fun too. But you have to do them if you're going to buy a house. Because real estate investing isn't a salary job. Okay? You can't just say, okay, wit, I'm in. I'm in the program. Bring on the money. I'll be here. No, you have to take action. I'll tell you what to do, but you have to go do it. And if you don't do it, I can't, I can't make you. I will push you. I will email you. I will call you. I will send you messages. I will give you more information to make it easier. I will do everything I can. I will be right behind you, pushing you through this, holding your hand. I'll let you cry on my shoulder. If you need to book an hour and all you want to do is tell me how bad it is and how they hurt your feelings and whatever, that's fine. But you're going to have to pick up your bootstraps, put your big girl panties on, and get it done. Because I'm not doing this for free, and I'm not doing this just because it's that much fun. I can go buy houses and make a lot more money. But people keep asking me for help, so here I am. I'm going to help. Let's do it. But you got to do your part of it. If you want to be a real estate investor, if you want to retire, people tell me all the time that they're making less than $5,000 a month, which is barely surviving in this world, okay? Five grand a month is like no fun, no vacations, definitely no retirement, no uh-oh fund, nothing. And they tell me that eventually they're going to make 10 grand a month. What's your plan? How do you think you're going to do that? I have a plan. I can give you a plan. I can help you put your plan into action. But you're not just going to wake up one day with no effort, no energy, and have a whole bunch of rental houses bringing you 10 grand a month if you don't take the steps, if you don't even book a call with me to say, all right, now I'm making 10 grand. Mentoring is not free. And the only way to get out of this rut, out of this useless, waste of time, just over broke job you have is to start investing in real estate and putting 20% down and going to the bank and getting financed is the stupidest thing that ever happened to real estate. I don't know who decided that was going to be a good idea and I don't know when they decided it was going to be a good idea, but it's stupid. And if you think you're going to get successful on that plan, you're stupid too. Because that is a slow boat to nowhere. That is debt. That is how we get foreclosures. That is how we get lazy, stupid landlords. Not lazy landlords that are like, yeah, I got this on autopilot, but lazy landlords that don't want to come fix your toilet. And I don't have time for that kind of crap. I have four calls booked this afternoon with four people who are so passionate so passionate about real estate, I'm going to punch <laughs> the next person over the phone who tells me they're passionate about real estate because they like to decorate. Fluff your pillows at your house if that's what you like to do. If you want to make money, if you're a real action taker, if you got the guts to do this and you just need somebody to push you and get yourself out of your way, I'm your girl. If you need somebody to complain to and drink coffee with, don't bother me. Because I got shit to do. Alright? So, go on about your lives, doing your job, being broke, being unhappy, being miserable. I'm going to go sell a house tonight. And when I sell this house, I'm going to make money tonight. I'm going to make money every month for the next two years, and then I'm going to make money when they buy it from me. Any real estate agents on here make money three different ways with no money invested?
拜哦。